And we're back, you guys. Let us continue with more Zelda. So this episode should be a little bit shorter than the rest. So all I'm gonna do is try and finish this as quick, quickly as possible. And then get to the temple. So that on the next one... Um, I can... Uh, So that on the next one I can do the, you know, record the temple continuously, because once I start recording the temple I can't stop, because, you know, I, I get confused, like if I, if I start the temple and I leave it halfway, then I don't know where exactly uh, I was before, and it's a lot, uh, a lot harder that way, so I just rather do it all in one shot. So I guess I gotta kill these... Sky Sharks. Or Cloud Sharks? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I bet if you uh, do the... You know, if you get all the figurines, you would eventually get one of these and figure out their name. Or you can just cheat and go online and check it out. <laughs> Although it's not really cheating, because... You usually get to know the names of stuff from strategy guides, where they contain all this extra details. Alright. Okay. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Up we go again. Yeah, you, you, you get a little bit closer to that and... You're just gonna fall. Whoa. Um, let's just go up. I don't think there's anything to kill that guy. Shark. We're breaking clouds. Cloud stuff. Cloud material. Cloud cloud blocks. I keep confusing it. I think it's on the side that you have to do it. Okay, so that just leaves one. I guess this one is the one that I used at the beginning. This thing is for heading back, I think. Whoa. I wonder where exactly I need to go. I think it's... If we go over here... Ugh. Let me check this out. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get on the, on the top. Whoops. Oh, here we go. That was easy. <laughs> that was totally not on purpose. There we go. Another tornado. Let's go up there. See what's up. Whee! Oh, look at all these. And now we have a shortcut. Pretty cool. Hmm. Alright. Uh, now how do I build something like this on top of a cloud? No idea. Maybe someone lives inside. If so, perhaps we could ask for uh, for the element. So we're just a shot, Uzi. Yeah, let's go in. Huh, this place seems so familiar. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly the same place we were before. Oh, if it is an old Uzi. My quest to match the Keenstone took me all the way up here. 
Not sure if you noticed yet, but we're on top of the house. Really? The Wind Tribe lives here. They protect the Bath Palace of Winds, where the Wind Element lies. Yeah, so it's not like you could have just taken this little teleport thing and skip your way through, because you know you needed to help those two ladies uh, to get on top of this city in order to um, you know to get to the temple. Back here, thanks to your keystone, I did. If you're looking for something, go talk to the elderly woman on the fourth floor. Winds carry all sorts of valuable information to her. Oh, so stuff stuff comes flying to her. Hmm. I see. Alrighty. This is the guy that we perform an exorcism before. Well, 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 Lucy. Thanks for helping. Because of you, my Grams is all better now. Let's fuse with her. See what we get. I think this would be a chest. Yep. Well, it's gonna be really difficult to get with that thing jumping around. Oh, it's Uzi. Thanks for your help earlier. I got something else for good for you, so here, please take it. I got light arrows! <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird. We get light arrows from some random guy instead of Zelda like we always do in the past. So you just leave it charging and then release. That's your light arrow. It's really cool. Alright. What do we got here? Let me steal stuff from these people. So I bet they just don't mind. I'm gonna save the world anyway, so they might as well get me stuff. That's how we roll. Hello! <clears throat> you have the try very skill at finding keystone pieces. So skill in fact that we have more of them that we can manage. Hmm. Can't even store them all. I wish someone would take a few from us. Already did. from you. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Long and long ago, and then an age before... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Our tribe abandoned the place you call the Wind Ruins. But with our magic, we move our palace up to the skies. We are the Wind Tribe. We have been watching, and we know all that happens on your surface world. A small boy collects elements to lift the curse from a princess. We know Vahati and his evil acts. The wind tells us these things. The wind element that you seek lies deep in the palace of winds above me. When the blade has been infused with four elements, the way to the light force shall be opened. So it's told in the legends of the wind tribe. Vati himself may already know this. Surface dwellers are not permitted to enter our palace, but you are special. You may continue up to the roof. Oh, thanks. Let's fuse. Ding. Let's see what we get. Alright, so now this person's gonna let us go up. 
There is a device in the palace that allows one to fly into in the sky. <clears throat> when I get bigger, I want to explore that palace and find it. But I'm too scared right now. Too bad, because I'm going to get it. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> These birds look like Eslo, sort of. Very... Already got everything. Alright. So this takes me up to the temple. And... I'll see you guys on the next one, because like I said... What an irritation. We find our way to the very tops of the clouds. Now we have to go even higher to find a floating palace? I think we're already there. <laughs> and I can't believe a long way we've come. And look how high we are! Don't look down, Uzi. Watch your step. It's a long fall from here. Really. <laughs> so I'll see you guys on the, on the next one. This has been Uzumachi. Bye!